Good morning, family. This is our Sunday service, and I believe and I know the Lord has a great thing for us. But before we start, we just want to worship. We enter His presence Amen. with thanksgiving in our hearts. So we'll just call on our worship team to lead us in worship. Oh, me. 
Holy Spirit. Oh, let's allow the Holy Spirit to take control. Holy Spirit, have your way. You are my senior pastor, Holy Spirit. You are the teacher, Holy Spirit. You are our inspiration. You are the one that knows the mind of God. Now bring it to us. Holy Spirit, we yield. Any of you are in the Spirit of God like the Lord before. We stand away and we say, Holy Spirit, take control. And in my the Spirit goes around the world. Only my Only my Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. We give you all hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. We receive that word from the Lord. Oh yes, Lord, yes, Lord. He's with us, he's with us, he's with us. He say he's Emmanuel, he's with us, he's God with us. That's a prophetic word the Lord has sent. Say he's with us, he's with us, he's with us. We're going to move on because I cannot give me tissue, hallelujah. What God has for us today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're all welcome. And I have a word from the Lord. Because it's the word from the Lord that brings about the change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God was saying to me in the place of prayer, He said, apply for my grant. Apply for my grant. Apply for my grant. Students, they know what it means. But when you talk about applying for grant, you know, people apply for grant for different, for different needs. You know, those who are going to college, they apply for grants. Those who are going for doing different businesses, they apply for grants. But God says to me, apply for grants. Apply for grants. And I was asking him, well, what do you mean, Lord? He said, I've agreed to give and allow those who will apply today. Those who will apply for the grant of God today, God say he is willing. And he is ready to grant those who are willing to apply for a grant. You know, then I was asking him, okay, who can apply for this grant? And God was telling me, everyone who has need and has recognized they have need. Everyone who have need and have recognized they have need. You know, because there are people who have need and they don't know that they have need. So they can't apply. But those who have need and they have recognized they have need, they are qualified to apply for the grant of the Lord today. And also he said to me, the second category of people too are those who are not looking for alternatives. Who are not looking for alternatives. You know, you know, because if you know you can get money elsewhere, so why would we apply for grants? So those who are not looking for alternatives, who are not looking for man, who are not looking for other people to come and help them, those who are not looking for or elsewhere, who are not consulting fetish priests, who are not looking for palm readers, those who are not going about looking into, into consulting uh, 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 Ricky and all those kind of fetish, uh, 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 diabolical things. Those are the people who are qualified to apply for the grant that God wants to give to us today. Those who are not going to go to, to, to witch doctors. Those who are not going to go to, to all this occultic uh, 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 crowd. 
they are the people who qualify for the grant that God wants to do. And then the third set of people are people, those who will go directly to God. Go directly to God. Not those who go to angels. There are people who go to consult angels. There are people who go to do so many things. God says those who will come directly to him. Directly to him, there are the people who are qualified to apply for the grant today. There is so much to say. I want, I was so excited because God said, I have agreed to give out people's requests today. Those will apply. Grant is giving, grant is an agreement to give out some things to make an allowance to make some, you know, some things available on request. On request, the main thing is you have to request. Then I was, asked, I was asking God, What are the types of grants you want to give us today? What are the kind, type of grants? The number one, he said to me, God said you want to grant a change from any problem you've had from birth. There are people who have problems from birth. They say, okay, I was born like this and I was born like that. God wants to grant a change. It doesn't matter how any problem that came from your birth, God is about to change it for you. God is about to change it for you. Either from your place of birth or from your family of birth or when you are giving birth to whatever, whatever be that problem, there is a grant today to change. Then he gave me a word from 1 Chronicles chapter 14 of verse 9. It says, Now Jabez was more honorable than his brother. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, Because I bore him in pain. He was giving back to him pain. And because of that, the mom gave him a name, pain. I don't mind the name they have. I don't know whatever name they have given to you at birth. It's about to change for good. It's about to change. It's about to change. Then the Lord said to me that whatever be the negative things that have carried on in your life from birth, it is subject to change. The Lord is going to change it. The Lord is going to change it. The Lord is going to change it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And you know what happened? In verse 10, it says, And Jabez called out to the Lord, God of Israel, which means Jabez qualified. Remember what I told you, the three categories of people that God is going to give um, a, a, a change or the grant. Jabez called on to the Lord. He didn't go to his mother to complain. Why did you make me, why did you call me Jabesh? He didn't go to his auntie or anybody to complain. The Bible says, and Jabez called out to the Lord of Israel. If you would bless me and enlarge me, my territory, may your hand be upon me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And the Bible says, and God granted the request of Jebesh. Hallelujah. And God granted the request of Jebesh. God is going to grant your request. Hallelujah. God is going to grant your request. Hallelujah. Whatever be your problem from birth, you qualify for God to grant that. That, that changed. Hallelujah. These two second people that God said he was going to give grant today is people who lack wisdom. Who lack wisdom. You know, there are people who don't have wisdom. Physical wisdom, spiritual wisdom, emotional wisdom, material wisdom, marital wisdom. People who lack wisdom. God said he is going to give wisdom. You know, he's going to grant a change for you from foolishness to wise person. You need to have wisdom. And there is a grant today available for wisdom. There is a grant. You see, a little boy called Solomon, King Solomon, when he became a king, he knew he was faced with so much to do. He knew he couldn't do it. And he said, God, what did he do? He went to God. So he qualified. I'm going to be reading from 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 29. 1 Kings, sorry, 1 Kings chapter 4, verse 29. He said, and God gave Solomon wisdom, exceedingly deep insight, and understanding beyond measure, like the sand on the seashore. Solomon's wisdom was greater than that of all the men of the East, greater than all the wisdom of Egypt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said, is there anyone of you who lack wisdom? Let him ask. 
bold when you ask wisdom from God, He will give you. Hallelujah. I'm so excited because there will be exceeding knowledge. Some people, they like foolishness. They remain where they are. But you can increase in your wisdom. You can increase in what you know. You cannot remain where you are. God is going to increase. There is a grant available today. Grant of wisdom is available. Grant of wisdom is available. And anyone who applied today, God is going to grant. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. The third, the third grant that is available, the third grant that is available today is healing and long life. Healing and long life is available. Hallelujah. In Isaiah chapter 38, Isaiah chapter 38, I'm reading from verse, I'm reading from verse 1. He said, in those days, Hezekiah sing Isaiah 38. I'm reading from verse 1. He said, in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Hezekiah and Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, set your house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face towards the wall. And prayed unto God. He didn't go looking for help elsewhere. He didn't go talking to other people. He prayed unto God and said, Remember now, O God, I wish it thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done what which is good in this side in your sight. And Ezekiah wept so. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Ezekiah. Thus says the Lord, the God of David, thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears, behold, I will add unto you, hallelujah, Amen. to your days, 15 years, hallelujah. hallelujah, he was healed, he was healed, and he was, another year, 15 years was added, there is a grant, May people's life will be added, more years will be added to your years today, if you apply. Hallelujah. There is a grant that God is giving out today. When you apply, you get your healing, you get your long life. Your life is elongated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm just so, so excited. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the fourth grant that is available today from the Lord is that God is going to grant fruitfulness for every barrenness. Any area you're barren, God is going to make you fruitful. Amen. Fruitfulness for every barrenness. Hallelujah. Some people think barrenness is just people who don't have babies. No. You can be barren in your profession. You can be barren in your in so many ways. You you don't you, you look at your life is not productive. The way you are 10 years ago, that's the way you are the same. You know, there is nothing improving in your life. You are barren and God needs to break that barrenness. Amen. Your barrenness can be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. You, even financially, in any way you're financially barren, God can break your financial barrenness and give you fruitfulness. So that's what God said, that grant of fruitfulness is available. He gave me this word from 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 26. Please, my Lord, said Hannah, as surely as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood there beside you, praying to the Lord. I prayed for this boy, and since the Lord has granted me what I asked for, hallelujah, now I dedicate this boy to the Lord, for as long as he lives, he is dedicated to the Lord. So, she they worship the Lord there and hallelujah. Amen. God grant he, she was there, she was barren. People were mocking her. Is there anything people are mocking you about? Don't worry, it's available with God. All things are possible. Amen. She was crying, was more, you know. God turned, she turned on to God, and God granted him, granted her the desires of her heart. She did not just have Samuel, but she had three more sons and two more daughters. She had she became a mother of many. Hallelujah. So your, your barrenness will be broken. Amen. Your barrenness will be broken. Amen. In any area you will be you will not experience barrenness. You might, you might have just one job. God is going to give you streams of income. Not just one income. Streams of income. You might just have one, 
small idea. God is going to give you loads of idea. You might just have one child. God is going to give you many children. Whatever. You might just have one ministry. God is going to give you plenty of ministries. Hallelujah. There is going to be a change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to grant you Hallelujah. what he has promised. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the fifth grant. The fifth grant God is saying today. Say God will grant you a second chance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will grant you a second chance. You may have made mistake in the past, but God today will grant you a second chance if you believe. God will grant you a second chance. It doesn't matter how, how many mistakes you have made. God is still available. He can still give you a second chance. Only if you apply today. If you apply today, second chance grant is available. And I'm going to read from Judges chapter 16. Judges chapter 16 and verse 28. Judges 16 from verse 28. He said, And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, O God, that I may be, hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines, for my two eyes. <laughs> and Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood and on which it was born of, 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 born, of born up of the one which of his right hand and the one on his left hand. And Samson said, Let me die with these Philistines and bowed himself with all his might and the house fell upon the lost and upon all the people that were therein. So the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. You're going to do more. You're going to do higher. You're going to do greater. Hallelujah. You're going to do more. You're going to do higher. You're going to do greater in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mandere Bokosha. You're going to do more. You're going to do higher. You're going to do greater in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, the Lord is ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? And the Lord said to me, how and when can we, I was asking him, how and when can we apply? He said, now, now is the time for you to apply. Now is the time for you to apply. And he said to me, we are hearers and doers of the word of God. So when you hear the word of God, you begin to do it. In the name of Jesus. And uh, you see, and he said to me, we are hearers and doers of the word of God. So when you Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, what's going to happen is, you know, when, when it comes to God, mm -hmm. he wants faith to be put into action. Yes. Your faith has to be put into action. That's you correct. know what we are going to be doing? Today, you see, in all those five instances I gave to you, everyone did it themselves. It's do it yourself. Everyone did it themselves. Nobody went to say, oh, please, uh, apostle, can you pray for me? Or oh, prophet, can you pray for me? No, everybody prayed themselves. So the first prayer we're going to pray is everybody pray for yourself. Anything that you have noticed that came upon you from your birth, that is negative. Any negative thing that have come upon you from your bad place or from your bad, anything, you're going to be asking God, change it for me. Change it for me. If God changed it for Jebel, God is going to change it for you. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Oh, pray for yourself. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm applying, I'm applying, I'm applying for a change of God Almighty. In the name of Jesus. For any negative thing of God Almighty. They have, oh God Almighty, have a cure from my proud to God. Hey, Baba, here I'm about change it. It doesn't matter what my father did. It doesn't matter what my mother did. But God, I stand with God Almighty today. I say in Lord my territory in the name of Jesus. I will break limits of God. I will not be limited in any form, in any way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will enlarge my coast. You enlarge my territory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. I will go beyond the God and above God. What my parents of God have done on the face of this earth. Every sickness of God. In the name of Jesus. In my family, I distinguish myself. 
that one from me to God, from my father's side, from my mother's side, in the name of Jesus, my neck will reset, even my sons and my daughters, I disengage them in the name of Jesus, I disconnect them from every sickness, in the name of Jesus, my corona take together, in the name of Jesus, every bad trouble give way right now, in the name of Jesus, every oh God almighty pain, any pain in our life that has been to go from birth, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed right now, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, the Lord has granted that in the name of Jesus, the second grant you are going to apply for is the grant of wisdom, Apply the grant of wisdom. The Bible says, Is there any of you that lack wisdom? Let him ask God. He will give. He will not keep back. So let us begin to apply for the gift of wisdom. Everyone apply. Children apply. Youth apply. Fathers apply. Mothers apply. Doctors apply. Ministers apply. Engineers apply. Everyone, all of us, let's apply. Let's ask for wisdom. Oh, Lama In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you, God, for wisdom. Oh, God of wisdom. Wisdom to be your God of wife. Wisdom to be your God Almighty. A mom. Wisdom of God Almighty to be a pastor. Wisdom of God to be, oh, God Almighty, a professional. Wisdom of God Almighty to be your God Almighty, what you have called me to be. In the name of Jesus, to be a priest, to be a ruler, to be a king. In the name of Jesus, Sande Kura Bagia Deha, Eye Gira Rara Kura Sete Yaba, Mambro Kuro Makundeleva, Wisdom of God, release it to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, any area my children are lacking wisdom, Lord, I pray, release wisdom to them physical wisdom, spiritual wisdom, emotional wisdom, material wisdom, marital wisdom, spiritual wisdom of God, release it to them, God, wisdom of God Almighty. In the name of Jesus, anyhow, our those in authority are lacking wisdom. Like wisdom. Release wisdom of God to all the teachers, the tarnished. Release wisdom of God Almighty to all the presidents of God, to all the God Almighty, frontline assistants of God. Release of God, wisdom of God to the relay of God to the to researchers. Release wisdom of God to our world. In the name of Jesus, the priests of God, those in authority, release wisdom like never before. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. We are going to be asking for, we are going to apply for the grant of healing and long life. Healing and long life. So it's now for you to apply. I am applying for myself, you apply for yourself. Healing and you don't even wait until you're sick before you begin to apply for this. You have to live, have divine health all the days of your life. If that's what Jesus had, you and I should have. So let's apply for the grant of healing and long life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I come, oh God, apply for healing, oh God the mighty, in my life, oh God, in my 50s, in my 60s, in my 70s, in my 80s, in my 90s, in my, oh God the mighty, in my 100s and beyond the God, in Jesus' you tarry. In the name of Jesus, I apply, oh God Almighty, oh God, the grant of long life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, you say, when long life, oh God, will you satisfy us? In the name of Jesus, my broken body, in the name we apply for the grant of God. Oh Lord, you grant us, oh God, healing, oh God, you wish us for one thing, that we, oh God, that we prosper and be in good health, even as our God is prospering, oh God. I apply for grant, oh God, of healing, for my word, oh God, for my word, for my nation, in the name of Jesus, my leg kid, what you say, if I humble myself, seek your face, turn away from my evil way, you will hear and you heal, I plan for the grant of healing, in the name of Jesus, my leg over the whole world, in the name of Jesus, my God and my Father, you are wounded for transgression of a bruiser, our iniquity, the chastisement of our things is upon you, and by your stripes you are healed, in the name of Jesus, let the grant of healing, let it flow across the world, across the nation, let death Go, let long life be in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rashakata, Lamboro Koyeba, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to be asking for. Uh, the, the grant of fruitfulness in any area where barren God is going to make us fruitful. If you are if you are not married, you're barren. 
if you are if you want to get married you have to pray that god will give you that gift hallelujah so we're going to be praying in anywhere we are buried god make us fruitful hallelujah Amen. Amen. in the name of jesus any area oh god we are buried in the name of jesus we make we are going to apply for the grant of fruitfulness to god lord you promise us in genesis chapter 1 verse 26 that lord we should be fruitful we will multiply and we replenish the earth to god in the name of jesus i decree i am fruitful i am multiplying i'm replenishing the earth in every area physically spiritually emotionally materially married to your god and all the ways of god in the name of jesus christ lord make my sons fruitful of god in every area of their life professionally oh god almighty emotionally materially maritally and all the ways in the name of jesus make my daughters oh god fruitful in every area in the name of jesus oh lama kindera oh god spiritually emotionally materially maritally and all the ways they will produce in the name of jesus they are producers they are not barren they are producers i'm not barren people in the name of jesus we are not barren in any area in the name of jesus i am not barren my husband is not barren every man every woman of foundation is worldwide of the last one we are producers we are not barren in any form in any way because the spirit of barren move in the name of jesus move in the name of jesus, move in the name of jesus. Every barrenness move for God said there shall be no barren in the land. There shall be no barren in our land. My local we are free forever in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The last and the final grant we are going to apply for for today, by the grace of God, will be the grant of second chance. Second chance. God is in the business of granting second chance. He did it. He did it in the life of the prodigal son. The prodigal son said, I will arise and I will go to my father. I will say unto him, I have sinned against heaven and earth. I'm no more worthy to be called your son. Make me as one of your highest servants. He got the grants. He got the grant of second chance. Your second chance is coming. Your second chance will be greater than your beginning. Your second chance will be greater than your beginning. I see God changing somebody's life now. I see second chance. Don't give up. Don't give up to say, I have missed it. I have messed up. I am this and that. There is second chance. There is second chance. There is second chance. And I want you to begin to apply for your second chance. Let God give you second chance. Oh, Rima Sandelebo. Oh, the hair will grow again, oh God. Let our hair grow again in the name of Jesus. Second chance, second chance in the name of Jesus. We apply your God in the name of Jesus. If you give chance, if you get chance in the God, second chance, you will give us second chance. If you give God Almighty, give our generation second chance to God. Give my world a second chance. Forgive us our trespasses, God. In the name of Jesus, give our nation a second chance. Give a God Almighty this land a second chance. Give our churches, give a God believers, give a God the body of Christ a second chance. Remember, oh God, your shoulders are only a I receive second chance for my brothers, oh God, for my sisters, oh God, for every man, every woman of foundation, please to walk by that's for God, oh God, the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. Let our future be better than our beginning in the name of Jesus. The second chance of God that will bring us to a greater height. The Bible says something did much more than he did in his life, in his death. In the name of Jesus, the same thing of God with Elisha. He did more of God Almighty. Love for God in our life of God. You say, Oh God Almighty, the future is greater than our past. Oh Lord, thank you, God. All you might give. Oh, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Oh, we are not going to be bound, oh God, by the guilt of yesterday. We are not going to be bound, oh God, by the mistakes of yesterday. We are coming by the blood of Jesus. Oh God, we have your pain, mercy, and grace to stand even in this time of need. Thank you, God, for the second chance you have given to us. Hallelujah. Oh, let's worship him. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, we we worship you because of who you are. Oh Lord, we worship you because of who you are. 
because of who you are. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Father, we want to thank you. We want to give you praise. Lord, we thank you for your word this morning. We thank you, Lord, Father, for speaking to us. Lord, for letting us know that, Lord, there's a grant available. We thank you because, Lord, we know that, Lord, even as we have asked today, that, Lord God Almighty, Lord, there will be a manifestation. Yes, Lord. There will be, Lord God Almighty, testimonies, Amen. Lord, of your great grants to us Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Lord, Father, even for blessing us with your word. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for lifting our spirits this morning. Amen. We want Jesus. to give you praise. Hallelujah. Lord, even the rest of the day, we hand into your hands. Yes, Lord, we thank you because, Lord, even as we go out to Lord, Father, Lord God Almighty, to do whatever we want to do today, that, Lord, you will go ahead of us in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Amen. that Lord you will make any crooked way straight for yes, us Lord. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That Lord you will shower us with your blessings, yes, Lord, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you because Lord we know that Lord you will be as a guard around us, as a shield around us today in the name of Jesus. Amen. No evil will come our way, mm. no plague will come our way, Amen. no sickness will come our way. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we are covered by the blood of Jesus Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you because Lord, victory is sure for us because you are with us. We give you praise. We honor you. And I bless each and every one that has connected today. I pray that, Lord God Almighty, your grants, O oh Lord, you will begin to see them. Amen. Mightily, walk mightily in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. And I give you all the glory. I say, be thou exalted, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.